Crystal. New in menus. Hello, this is Dr. Robinson. How and to today we are going to teach you how to teach yourself and or learn Nimeth, maybe you're a parent, want to help your student or your child, using the Focus 40 Braille Display. And I'm using JAWS today, and we're going to use the Braille Math Editor and the Word Math Editor. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and get that change to Nemeth code because I switch between UEB Math and Nemeth based on who I teach. So let's just do an insert six. Word dash jaws setting set. I'm gonna hush him up. I'm gonna control shift D to set default. Jaws setting center dash default. I'm gonna hush him up. I'm gonna type in braille space and an M and then I'm gonna down arrow to braille mode. B A J E braille M. And I'm gonna down arrow. Twen Braille mode structured, general braille. I'm going to hit F6 to jump over to all my options. General page, braille mode combo box, structured, two of three, touch. Okay, I'm going to just quick, uh, make a quick comment on, uh, check the boxes, active cursor follows braille display, braille cursor follows active cursor. If, especially if you're a new teacher and you want to see the cursor move and navigate along each page of words as uh, you hear the auditory when you're with a student. Okay, I'm going to Alt F to Language Profiles. Alt F. Alt F, Language Profiles Dialog. I'm going to Alt D to my details. Alt D, Language Profiles Dash Language. I'm going to hush them up. I'm going to go ahead and do Alt F to, and you're going to hear the math. And uh, did I say F? Alt M <laughs> to Math, and we're going to change it to Nemeth. Alt M for Math, Use Combo Box, Unified English Braille, Nemeth, one of two. Yep. And I'm going to hit enter to say, yep, I'm done, and close. Enter, default left parent. I'll hush them up again. And once again, you can do this in any dialog box. It doesn't matter where you're at. Enter is, yep, I'm done with that dialog. Please close. Enter. Enter, jaw setting center. That and we're back. And do make sure your braille mode says structured, by the way, uh, when you set default. Because uh, if you're wondering what's happening with your braille display, it might not be unstructured. Anyway, Alt A to apply and enter. Alt A. Enter. Okay. How to teach and learn UEB math using... Now, I have my Braille viewer on. Those who have vision can look up in the top right hand, excuse me, the left hand corner, and you're going to see that all underlined because it is highlighted. Blank. Basic arithmetic. Okay, and you can actually see that brailled out beautifully. So you're going to be able to visually see that up in my Braille viewer, but I also have it on my Braille display. So when I go into my Braille math editor, you will actually see what's on my Braille display also. But that's pretty much what's on my Braille display too. Okay, so what you're gonna do is just type this math out on the keyboard. And then I'm gonna show you, uh, make sure you use all equals. So let me show show you that way. Enter. You're gonna do all equals. All equals selected. This is the word math editor. One. Just type plus out. Plus two. Especially if you're learning. Plus three. Okay. And you can actually see that visually up in the uh, Braille viewer, but I can also see that on my Braille display. And then what you want to do, oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. Three plus How about we do equals on that? three. And then what you want to do is just uh, Braille that out many, many times in that whole line. So you can constantly be referring back to those, uh, the way the Braille is laid out. And then you'll get really, really good at that. Okay, so let's go ahead and go down. Math content 1 plus 2 equals 3. Math content 20 minus 5 equals 15. Okay, and then once you get really comfortable with this, and blank. you want to hit enter and then try to do it from memory. Enter. And I'm going to open my Braille Math Editor. I'm using my focus. So I'm going to hit my space and then 3, 7, and 4, 6. Doing space 3, 7, 4, 6, and let's go. Braille math editor, equation edit, type in the math expression, press it. Now, if you're a young student, I would say do the number dot sign. Three, dot two. But what you're going to discover is you don't have to do the number sign in here. And let me show you. Space. Dots three six. Dots two five, six. Space. And then equals. Dots four. Dots one three. Space. And let's see. One minus five. Oh, yeah. You can't really do that. Okay. That's going to be uh, negative. Dots three six. Four. <laughs> dots two five six. Okay. Well, so I, you know. Have a very interesting point. how to teach and learn new EB math using focus display dot dot. So once again, go ahead and hit the end uh, key and then just keep brailing that out. And of course, keep reading it from the brow display. Uh, so your fingers become tactilely sensitive to all those numbers if you need to learn it tactilely. 
Let's go ahead and go down arrow four in space on my brother's play. We'll do two. Two. I'm gonna go ahead and down arrow. Twenty two. Math content one times eight equals eight. Okay, so once again, take a look at that. So now you're gonna do what you're gonna do the dot four and then you're gonna do one six dot four one six now that you know that. You're gonna hit your end blank editor. We're gonna open the Braille math editor. Braille math editor equation edit type in the math expression. Press it dot two space dot four dots one six space dots two space dots four dot space dots two three six. Okay, and double check to make sure that really is correct and hit enter. How to teach and learn new EB math using focus this math content eight divided by two equals four. So you're feeling your brother's play and you go, oh, okay, that's four, six, three, four, four, six, three, four. And of course, to keep that under your fingers, you just want to hit your end and then keep brailing that. And what I would suggest is keep brailing the symbol because the symbol is different. So let's go ahead hit end, 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 and hit enter. enter. And let's go ahead and open your Braille Math Editor. Braille math edit dots two space dots four six dots three four space dots two space dots dots space dots two five six. Okay, and then double check to make sure it's correct. And how to teach and learn new EB math using focus display dot dot. Lovely, 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 lovely. And once again, you're gonna use your fingers if you need to learn it tactfully. Go over it, and then you just want to braille it, braille it, re braille it. But this is how you learn your braille. You can just type it out, and it will be under the braille math editor. It'll be in your braille viewer. And then, of course, um, you can hear it, all of that also. Down Blank. Out. Algebra. Let's move into algebra. Math content 2x plus 5 equals 17 right arrow 2x equals 2 right arrow x equals 6. Okay. So once again, you don't have to do number signs on all of those. It will automatically be inputted on that. The special character that you're probably not sure of is that, and we call it the ED contraction, it's the shape indicator, shape indicator arrow. So uh, one, two, four, six is the shape indicator. And then the arrow or the right arrow is gonna be one, three, five, okay? And once again, you wanna hit your end key and then just do the arrow key, uh, the arrow command several times in order to get it. So this is one way to write it. We're gonna go down to buffer mode so you can actually solve algebraic problems. Um, it, typically, the teachers want you to do 2x plus 5 equals 17. Hit enter and move down. I'm going to show you how you can have two lines of Braille on your Braille display. Okay, let's go ahead and hit end. End, end equation. And hit enter. enter. And let's go ahead and open your Braille math editor. Braille math editor, equation edit, type dots two, dots one space, dots three space, dots two space, dots, dots one space, dot two, dots two three space, dots one two four six, dots one three five space. Dots two dots one space dots dots one space dots two space dots one two dots one three space dots one space dots dots one space dots two three five. I kind of did that kind of fast, so I have to kind of look at it, make sure I actually did it correctly. How to teach and learn new EB math using focus. Speed is not always your best friend, but that absolutely actually worked out beautifully. So once again, you want to just go back and forth and braille that out many times, and you will get that. And that's true for any um, any Braille or Nemeth or anything that you're trying to learn, that is the way to do it. So now let's go down to buffer mode. Blank, buffer mode. Okay, so Blank. this is going to allow me to do two lines of math. One line is going to be on the left-hand side and the other line of math is going to be on the right-hand side. I'm going to insert Alt-V. Select Braille view dialog, list one, list view, no split. Okay, I'm going to have to come back to that and turn off the split after I'm done, but I'm going to down arrow right now. List one, list view, buffer text, two of eight. Okay, if you don't like how it lines up, like the first buffer is going to go to the left-hand side, and then when I braille in, it's going to be on the right-hand side. You can Alt-S here and swap the split if you want to. Um, and always remember, go through all the options in this braille view mode, and then tab through all your options also. Right now, I'm just going to hit enter on buffered text. Enter. Edit. Okay. Immediately take a look at my Braille viewer up above, and what you actually see are two long lines. That is dividing my Braille display. That's on my Braille display also. So now when I Braille out 2x plus 5 equals 17, that is going to come out, and I'm going to rebuffer it, and it's going to move it to the left-hand side. So I can continue to read the left-hand side in order to solve for it. So instead of using the arrows now, we're going to do algebra as it typically is done. I'm going to open my Braille Viewer. 
Braille math editor equate dots two dots one space dots space dots space dots dots space dot two dots two three five six. So um, and actually it's going to be two x plus five. You got to solve that, um, and then of course you would open it and put seventeen. Enter. How to teach and learn new EB math using focus display okay. end, and end equation. I'm going to rebuffer so you see it on the left hand side. When I rebuffer, you're going to see it on both sides. So you can actually solve. I'm going to do your left shift two three. And now you see it on both sides. So now when I hit enter, enter, I have got it and I'm prepared to go ahead and solve this. So let's go ahead and open the Braille math editor. Braille math editor equation edit type dots two dots one space dots four dots one space dots two three. Okay, and you're gonna go ahead and hit enter. How to teach and learn new EB math using focus display dot end and end end. equation. And of course, you can see how my uh, solution that I just worked on is on the left-hand side, and the old math line one is on the. Um, did I say that wrong? Yeah, that dyslexia. Let me tell you. So yes, left-hand side, and the two x plus five equals seventeen is on the right-hand side. I'm going to rebuffer left shift two three twice quickly, and we're gonna hit enter. Enter. Okay. And now, of course, you can see 2x equals 2. That is on the right-hand side. Let's go ahead and solve the next or the last part of this. I'm going to go into my Braille Math Editor. Braille Math Editor. Equate dots one space. Dot space. Dots two, three, five. Pretty fast. So we've got x. <laughs> dots two. Braille space. Dots that? one, three, four, six. Uh, equals. Dots, dots one space. Dots yeah. two, three, five. Now, you can left arrow. Dots two, Braille space. Because let's say you do two dot fours and two sixes or whatever. Dots one three. It is so easy to correct that so I can dots four six dots one three and put it right back incorrectly so you figure that out. Dots one three space, dots four six and you do it again. So it's really easy to make changes. I'm gonna hit enter. enter. How to teach and learn new EB math. Okay, I always highly suggest up arrow and re-listen to your problem to make sure it's correct. Math content two x equals two. Let's say we find a mistake in that. I'm going to reopen the Braille Math Editor. Braille Math Editor, equation edit, okay. dots two, three, dots one, three, four, so six. So anywhere along the line, Braille space. I can make a change. Maybe I don't want X. Dots one, three, four, Y. Y. Hmm? Okay. Well, I really don't. Dots one, X. X. But now you can see how easy it is to make corrections because we're humans. We make mistakes. We have to have easy ways to correct it. I'm going to hit enter. Again. Enter. Beautiful. How to teach and learn new EB math using. So that is how you use a buffer mode. And that gives you the ability to go ahead and do it really easily and quick. You can read both sides of your math. If you're going to go into the STEM program, I highly suggest an 80 cell Braille display. Most are pretty good with six, uh, excuse me, 40 cells. But hey, you need, you know yourself, you know how far you want to go with math. And longer is kind of nice. It's not as transportable as a 40 cell, but you know, you need to make your decisions. Math con geometry colon. Here we go. I'm going to control down arrow so we hear the whole uh, information at once. Problem colon. What is the area of a triangle with a base of 10 units and a height of 5 units? Okay, control down arrow. How to easily make corrections one math? Mm -hmm. I think that's supposed to say in math. Let's see. And blank. And let's go ahead. Here, H T A 1 I. Make corrections and in the math. M how about that? I think that makes a little more sense how to easily make corrections in math. Let's down arrow. Math content open one half times base times height equals one half times ten times five equals twenty five squared close. Okay, so for all the visual people, oh, I need to turn off my uh, buffer mode because that's going to kind of muck up my math. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and insert Alt V. Select Braille view die, no split, no one split of eight, enter. enter. Okay. Edit. <clears throat> now you can actually look at my Braille viewer and it's going to make a whole sense. I'm going to actually down arrow so I can move this up for all the sighted people so you can follow all the math along easily. Blank trick. Prop. Blank. Okay, prop. Help. Blank. Math. Prop. Trick. Blank. Math content open one half times base times height equals one half times ten times five equals twenty five squared close. Yep. That's pretty gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. end. End equation. And as long as it says end equation, I can hit enter. enter. Okay. We're going to open up the uh, Braille math editor again. Content open so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to quickly go, and this, you can do this with all the other math also, because you may want to do LaTeX, uh, which has been around for absolutely forever. 
Uh, but you can combine that and it also gives you the ability to put all this math in line and make really quick corrections. I'm going to control shift equals. Control shift equals selected open parent one over two times quote dia period s e quote comma times quote h e i period g h t quote comma equals one over two times ten times five equals twenty five to the two comma close parent math content. Yeah, we love that. So let's say home open parent actually need one to make over four. two. I just want to show you how easy that is. I can hit delete. Times math content. And I four. four. And I can hit control equals. Control equals. Select. And it in instantly changes it back, but it, now it's one fourth instead of one half. Okay, I want to change that back, so I'm going to control shift equals. Control shift equals. Selected. O home. home. Open parent. One over four. Four. I'm going to hit delete. Times math two. Put two back. And I'm going to control equals back to print. Control equals selected. Open parent one half times base times height equals one half times ten times lovely, five equals twenty five square comma. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and hit end end equation. I'm going to hit enter. enter. Braille math editor equation edit type dots one four five six dot two dots three four dots two three dots three four space dot four dots one space dots one dot one dots two three dots one five space. Dot four dots one space dots one dots one dots two dots one two four dots one two dots two space dots four dots one space dots one four five dot two dots three dots two three dots three space dot four dots one six space dot two dots three five space dot four dots one six space dots two space dots four dots one space dots two three dots one five dots four five dots two three okay so kind of did that kind of fast. So <clears throat> what's so great about this is I made a couple errors. So this is how easy it is to correct it. I'm going to left arrow. Dots two, dots four, five. I have no idea why there is an E there. That's hilarious. Let's go ahead and backspace. Well, I kind of do. I wanted a five, right? 25. So I'm going to hit backspace. Dots one, five. And let's go ahead and put a five in. Dots two, six. Well, that looks a lot better. So very quickly, move back on your brow display and read all your math in there to make sure it's correct. As soon as you are happy with that, you're going to hit enter. Enter. How to teach and learn new EB math using focus display dot docs dash word. How to teach and learn new EB math using. So let me kind of show you a trick now. I'm going to go back into LaTeX. Control shift equals. Control shift equals. Selected. One over two end. End equation. Two math Let's content. Let's say you forgot what the power of is. Let's backspace over there. To the math content. Now, most know shift six is to the power of. So you just do a Carrot. shift six. And that gives you the clue on what it actually is. You can see that on your brow display. And then, of course, when you write space. arrow. And you space. Space. And then you're going to change. Space. Oh, space. Two space math content. Back. So let's go ahead and control, control equals. equals selected one half time. Voila, beautiful. Let's up arrow. Math, con math content one half times base times height equals one half times ten times five equals twenty five squared. Now that was a lot more math. You might need to divide that up. You might just need to work on one half times base times height, and then add on uh, equals one half times ten times five equals twenty five to the power of two. But however you want to do that, there are options. Very nice and easy. Let's go ahead and then blend. I'm going to get rid of some blends. blend. Blend. Okay, and I'm going to down arrow so I can move this back into view easily. Trick, prop, map, cap, prop. So end, blend, enter, enter, enter. Times blend, blend, so prop, blend, map, problem, trigonometry with alt equals. Okay, so we can do trigonometry just as easily with the Braille Math Editor. But maybe you want to use alt equals. So let's go down to our math problem. Problem colon find math R O B L E F O um, space F I N D space equation S. Okay, here's our equation. Sierra. So you're going to put your fingers on your bra display and you're going to immediately see that theta is 461456. Okay? So you can very easily bra this out and it's going to be a whole lot faster browing it out. But we're going a different route this time. I'm going to control shift equals so you can see. Control shift okay. equals selected. Sin theta I period. F theta equals 30 degrees math content. Yep. Control equals Control math. equals selected. Sine theta I period. F okay. theta equals 30 degrees. Beautiful. And, and blank. And I'm going to hit enter. enter. Now I'm going to do all equals. This is this is the word math editor. It works just like the Braille math editor, except I'm going to be typing it out. I could Braille it out also. But I want to show you, you have both options because maybe you don't know enough Braille yet. Alt equals selected. Okay. S I N. Sin backslash. Backslash. T H E T A. 
data. Data auto correct colon the test space. I F F. Okay. Back backslash T H E T A theta auto correct colon italic small space equals, equals space three zero. And I'm going to show you a really cool thing. Maybe you forgot what the command is to degree. Insert number four. Select a symbol to print dialog D list one D that D degrees twenty three of ninety three. And enter. Print edit. And you can instantaneously see what the degrees is. Okay. That is how fabulous this is. We're going to open this in the BroMath Editor also. And I'm going to hit Enter first and then go up and then open in the BroMath Editor. Enter. Whoops. Undo. Ooh, I did not mean to do that. End. Blank. And always make sure it says End before you hit Enter. Enter. Okay, now if you're... Math content sign theta if theta equals 30 degrees. Okay, and now open it in your BroMath Editor, space 3746. Braille math editor equation edit contains text type in the math expression press insert plus f1 for more help so trigonometry has all sorts of wonderful new symbols for you so you want to learn them all very well i'm going to hit and enter all right excuse me and dots one dots four, dots four five so it will actually tell you what the uh, dots are so four five dots four six four six dots one six one six that's the degree mark but insert number four has all sorts of phenomenal symbols, like the multiplication symbol that you maybe you just knew the dot and you needed to use the um, cross or the division mark. Anyway, insert number four is a, just a wonderful little gift also in knowing commands. Hit escape. Escape. Once again, I teach it blank. highly suggest um, brailing that out lots of times in order to learn that. Capest math content. Okay, here we go. New one. Insert up arrow. Math content solution colon SIN 30 degrees equals one half. Love that. Okay, I'm going to hit my end. End. End equation. I'm going to hit enter. Enter. I'm going to do all equals. All equals. Selected. Math con S I N sin 3 0 We're still going to pretend I forgot. I cannot remember what that degree is. I'm going to go ahead and insert number four. Select a symbol to D. List D. That D degrees 23. Enter. enter. Print edit space equals, equals space two one half and lovely lovely it moves in it into professional mode it is so gorgeous let's go ahead and hit end end, end equation and enter enter and up arrow and math content sign thirty equals pre super degrees one half okay beautiful uh, now if you don't like that degrees so far away once again put control shift equals. control shift equals selected sin comma thirty comma the end equation okay, I'm math two down. over one equals degrees Math content. Backspace, and I'm going to go ahead and control equals. Control equals, selected, sign comma, 30 degrees equals one half. Yeah. So all sorts of incredible um, skills, but I'm telling you the LaTeX, even if you don't want to memorize all the LaTeX, learning how to manipulate it, because as soon as you braille it in or type it in, you can go into the LaTeX mode and make quick, really quick changes. Let's go ahead and down arrow. Blank, blank, calculus with all equals colon. Okay. Once again, we're just using all equals. You can easily use the Braille math editor. Problem colon find the derivative of math content fx equals 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. Hit end. end. Blank. We're going to do all equals. All equals. Selected. Math content. Okay, on the keyboard. F. Left pair x. Right pair in. See, I'm space much slower equals. on the keyboard. But three this is what it is. X. Okay, to the power three x carrot two, two plus space two x. Plus one. Okay, and enter. enter. And let's up arrow and listen. Problem colon friend and equation. One math content plus x plus x equal x equate space. And now let's go ahead and listen. Equation comma math x equals math three x plus two x plus one space. Okay, and it's on the um, Braille display. It's on the Braille math editor. It's on the word math editor. They're all there to help you learn Braille. Blank. Blank. Delete. Let's move it up. S. Okay. Problem. Solution colon math content fx equals fraction d over dx and fraction times open 3x squared plus 2x plus 1 close equals 6x plus 2. Lovely. Let's move it into the LaTeX. O L U T I O N colon space equation comma math x. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and control shift equals. Control shift equals selected. F open parent x close parent equals d over dx comma open parent 3x to the 2 plus 2x plus 1 close parent equals 6x plus 2 math content. Yep. And now I'm going to control equals. Control equals selected. F of x comma. I'm going to open it in the braille math editor also. 
Braille math editor equation edit contains text. Okay. Type in the math expression. So you have the option of learning every single symbol if you have forgotten anything. I'm going to hit escape and get out. Escape. I'm going to hit out end. end. Blank. I'm going to hit enter. enter. And I'm going to be using all equals. All equals selected math and content. Typing it F. out. Here we go. Left parent X. Right pair space equals space. D. Yeah, I'm just going slash to slash D. The X. DX. Left parent 3X. 3X carrot 2. Plus. Space 2X. 2 plus. 1. Right parent. Space equals. Space 6X. 6X plus 2. Okay, here we go. And enter. Enter. And. Math content fx equals fraction d over dx and fraction times open 3x squared plus 2x plus 1 close equals 6x plus 2. Okay, so let's say I goofed someplace. I'm going to control shift equals. Control shift equals selected f open and equation home, home f math content foxtrot right open arrow. x closed equals d over d. Well, I could easily. Delta x math e. See that? Easily erase. E math d. Let's go ahead. And Space go open pair 3. Maybe I don't want a three. Maybe I want a... X math content. Four. Four. Okay. So that just shows you how incredibly Four math three. easy it is to edit. You can also do this on the um, Braille Math Editor much easier than you can. So I'm going to actually change it back to control. Control equals. equals selected. Let's say you found an issue there. So you're going to open the Braille Math Editor. Braille math editor equation edit contains text. And you can route your cursor to anything and very quickly. Um, and you routing the cursor won't tell you, but if you left dots one four five six dots one four five, five, and maybe you wanted that to be something else, dots three, and you can easily and very quickly change that. So that is how wonderful that option is also. I probably don't want a three there. I probably want a D back. That's two, five, D. Okay. But anyway, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to make a correction in your Braille Math Editor also. Uh, so it's totally up to you what option you want. There are so many. Hit escape. escape. And that teach is how you can teach it. So you can do it out on your computer. You can be ready for your student because we already pretty much know what our student is going to be doing by talking to the math teacher. We can all be prepared and then, of course, teach the student the symbols and all the tricks so they can easily teach themselves if they're at home and they can't remember a symbol. They can type it out and immediately learn the new Braille. So top how to is... teach and learn Nemeth using focus display left pair and brilliant works well also right pair. Yes. So I hope you learned a lot and you can go forward now and teach it and learn it yourself and be able to teach your students. Thanks, and we'll see you for more lessons in the future. Zalku, and me enter.